Hello, it's me, Wendy with an I, and I'm going to be doing some DIY stepping stones. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not in here, welcome back. All right, guys, I'm out here in my breezeway today, and it's a little chilly and a little damp, so I needed some long sleeves. So yes, this is a Chippendale fall shirt, but win-win Disney long sleeves, but it is March 2020. All right, so Roxana, Mari, and Kat put together this quarantine craft party, and it couldn't have been better timing. So thank you ladies for putting this together and thinking of me. So their channels and all the other YouTube channels, there's 35 of us participating in this and they are all amazing crafters. So check them out if you can. You might find something that you would like to try to do. I'm going to do DIY stepping stones because I already had this. I fully realize these are things that some people, most people maybe, probably won't have on hand, but maybe when everything is well with the world again, this may be something that you want to attempt to add a little bit of personal touch to your garden. All right, so let's just get started. Okay, so like I said, I'm out here in my breezeway. It is a dreary, damp, chilly day, so I'm sorry if the lighting is a little off and my husband is in the garage. <laughs> building a stand for his fish tank, so we might be competing with some of that noise, so I apologize for any background noise, but the birds chirping are just absolutely lovely right now. Okay, what I have, and yes, there are some of my garden gnomes over there waiting to be put out. So, this is what I have. I have Quickcrete, this is mortar mix. I have 11 of these 10 pound bags. And I already had these because I needed to make these, so this really put me into gear to get them done. I have water, I have napkins or paper towels, and I have petroleum jelly, and that is to spread in the cake pans. Now, some people use vegetable oil, but we are making do with what we have because we are, at this time this is being filmed, we are social distancing and trying to flatten the curve of the virus that's going around, so we're just pulling out what we have. Also have scissors to cut into my quick creep, quick creep bags. Woo, say that 10 times fast. Woo, okay. I have my cake pans here and I ordered these silicone ones before Christmas and this one has a neat little design in it and it perfectly fits my foot. Now I don't know about big feet but <laughs> it's going to fit my foot for sure and I have a butterfly one and of course I have my metal Mickey Mouse cake pan. It's going to be so fun. I have shop gloves out of my husband's garage, and these are for big hands, so probably going to have to make do with those. <laughs> and I have a piece of cardboard, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that my office looks like a warehouse now, so I have plenty of these things hanging around, uh, boxes. So I just cut off a piece of one of them, and this is going to help me get this as level as possible when I get the quickcrete in the pan. So make and do make and do i have a bucket to mix the quick crete and i have my trowel and then underneath this i have a plastic tarp that my husband had several of these in the garage because we tend to do little projects and spray paint things so these are all on hand we did not go out to the stores to get anything so there we go that's what i'm going to be working with Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my petroleum jelly and take a paper towel and spread a light coating in all of the pans and that way it'll make it easier for the garden stones to flip out of these when they sit. They all have a light coating of the petroleum jelly on them. And like I was saying earlier, some people use the nonstick vegetable oil spray, uh, but we are making do with what we have. And so now we, we have these all ready to go. It's time to put our gloves on and mix up our quick creep. Guys, read your instructions on whatever kind of mortar mix 
quick create whatever you decide to buy read your instructions on how to mix it up this one says um, add approximately one pint of clean water for every 10 pounds um, and mix thoroughly or 500 milliliters now my mason jar holds 800 milliliters of water but I have about 750 milliliters in this because I'm not sure I may need more than 500 I want uh, more of a pancake battery consistency and you gotta have muscles for this Ooh, it takes strength to mix this stuff up but I want it more syrupy than uh, concrete -y. I don't know how to explain that but I'll just show you as I'm doing it and uh, got my bucket and just as I suspected these are for big hand people um, right here's my finger the top of my finger but it's okay make and do make and do all right let me get my bucket let's do this All right, I'm only doing one 10 pound bag at a time. It's just, it's easier for me. I have my trowel and I'm going to add the first 500 milliliters of water and see if that's gonna be enough, which it probably isn't. Okay. So there we go, I'm going to start mixing it up. And again, this takes some muscle. And I'm sorry for the weird camera shots. My camera, um, the piece that screws into my tripod, it broke off. <laughs> and so I'm not able to angle this. I am creatively filming this, setting you guys up on pots around my <laughs> breezeway and on the table so <laughs> making do can't go get a new camera right now all right I'm gonna have to put you back down I'm gonna mix this uh, really good with all my strength and then we'll come back and look at the consistency I don't have pancake batter consistency I need this a little more runny so I'm going to add the other 250 milliliters of water and see where that gets me. Okay, 750 milliliters is the ticket on this. This is what I wanted. This is the consistency. Okay, this stuff sets up fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it poured and we'll just start with Mickey. I'm going to use my gloves to pat this down in here. Looks like each cake pan is going to take about one bag, or the whole bag. About uh, Mickey didn't take the entire thing. This one is pretty thick. Just gonna mix up uh, the rest just like I did this bag and fill up the other two, level them off, and I'll be back. Okay guys, and you see the reason for the tarp here? This is messy, super, super messy. I'm just bringing them all over here. And oh, guys, if you can see inside the house, the day I'm filming this is our youngest birthday and we're having a parent-daughter <laughs> birthday celebration today. We are social distancing, like I said, but it's going to be grand. We're going to have frozen pizza and uh, frozen uh, chicken wings. <laughs> so 
<laughs> so that's going to be great. Uh, sorry, my husband's busy in there. I'm trying to talk over him. But I'm putting all of these guys over here in front of the fountain. And in 24 hours, I will flip them out of here. I do work from home tomorrow, so it'll be a little bit more than 24 hours. But we'll flip them out and see what happens and it's hard for me to show you with just one hand but when i set them down over here with two hands on each side i pick them up and gently drop them on the ground a couple of times to get any air bubbles that may be inside out of these it is the next day and these guys have been sitting out here for about 27 hours actually now um, more than 24 hours um, I'm off work. It's about 4.30 the next day, but I did add a tad too much water to my mortar mix for the butterfly one. So I'm actually glad it's been sitting here a little bit longer than it should have. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip these guys out of here and see what we get. Oh my goodness, guys, look at these. They are awesome. <laughs> they turned out great. I've put the cake pans out beside them too so you can see where they came out of. And the cake pans, they're going to clean up beautifully to be used again. But the butterfly is my most favorite one because it's the most smooth. That is so great. So now what I'm thinking is I made that one a little bit more runny and that's the ticket. I think I'm going to do 800 milliliters of water from now on with those 10 pound bags of mortar mix because I love the smoothness of this. But these are wonderful too. They're just a little bit um, rougher. I don't know how to explain it, but they're great. And that got the whole design of that cake pan even the outer lining of it. Look at that. That is fantastic. These are so great. And you can see Mickey. That actually looks like Mickey. But guys, when I was flipping him over, I lost the pan a little bit. And you can see there. Oh, I kind of broke some of the concrete out of there. Oops. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm thinking about maybe painting him so you won't even notice that. He's so great because I don't think we're going to step on him. I think I'm just going to use him in one of my flower beds as a nice little touch in there. But I love these. I love how they turned out. So I think the next shot you're going to see is them in the yard, but we're actually not going to step on them right now. So I'm going to give them about two more days to sit out here like this and cure some more. And then I'm going to wipe them off with a damp cloth. And then I will place them out in the yard to do a final shot for you guys. Um, so you can just see what they would look like. But I am so tickled. They have been setting for 48 hours in the breezeway on their cardboard pieces. And they look amazing. So I brought them out here leading up to my bird bath. This is not where they're going to go. Just how they're going to look when you place them. And I absolutely love them. I really hate that I messed up Mickey's ear right there, but that's okay. These turned out wonderful. I love, love, love this raised design, but I started thinking, I'm not sure if you'd want to step on this without shoes. That might be a little uncomfortable, um, but definitely wear shoes for that one. But the butterfly is so great. I love this design too, and I love how smooth it is. Now, I did wipe these off with a damp cloth before bringing them out here. So, I do love the smoothness of this. So, making your quick creek more watery, I think, is the way to go um, to get this smoothness. I love how that turned out. But all of these look fabulous. Oh, and I'll show you my foot on these. And in the description below, I will definitely um, put the dimensions on there. I'll go back on my order history and see if I can find that so y'all can know the dimensions of these cake pans. But here's my foot on this one. I wear size six in women's. And then here's my foot on the butterfly. I'm not gonna put all my weight on these guys because they need to set for about two, three more weeks. And here's Mickey. So yeah, my foot fits great on these. If you were making a little path with them, they are gonna work out great. So here's one more look at them. 
and I'm not sure I have a space that is in desperate need of stepping stones on the side of this house and I'm not sure which design I'm gonna go with on these but I really really am liking this one a lot but I don't know I love the butterfly probably gonna make a couple of those to set out somewhere especially in my new sitting area I'm gonna make this is them. I hope that I've inspired you in some way if you would like to create your own. Thank you so much for watching. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day. Be sweet.